Welcome back to Master Your Ash. I'm your host, Michael Prisdale, and today we will be smoking the Cavalier. This is the Viso Jalapa B2 in tempura. And tempura, or <laughs> their version of like fried tempura, is a 4 by 60 ring gauge cigar. So we have this cute little pigtail cap at the top, the signature Cavalier Geneva gold diamond on the actual wrapper itself. And then to indicate that it is the B2 BJ Jalapa, or BJ B2. The BJ, BJ, same thing. Um, 1350 MSRP, and this was sent courtesy of Luxury Cigars in their Palladium pack this month. Really looking forward to this. I have several Cavalier reviews, Sebastian, Brian, the whole entire crew over there. The Tempura is available in all three lines. The Viso Jalapa that we're smoking is the only one that actually is all Nicaraguan. So the Viso Jalapa leaf is a Habano seed that's grown in the Jalapa region over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. Unusual wrapper as luxury stated. Very pretty though on this particular stick and it's supposed to be the most full body I believe out of all three of them. And if you watched any of my PCA coverage, you saw that I, I shot these, they were bandless at the time and just in the tempura boxes. But yeah, right off the initial lighting, strong amounts of pepper, both black pepper and white pepper off the retro ale. Seven or an eight out of 10 right off the light. Make sure that we got all of this here because at its fattest part, it's a 60. I would say at the foot, we're probably looking at somewhere around a 52. A little bit of mineral earth on the palate along with some nice leather woody notes and a touch of almost like a chocolate. About five minutes in and the tempura is settling in rather nicely. Overall flavor, there's a lot of mineral earth to this. The Visa Jalapa, it's, it's got a lot to it. Minerality, leather, woody notes, but then there's also some really nice confectionery notes, some chocolateness to it, along with the spice, the toast, all working together. Mixture of black pepper and white pepper on the retro. Along with this sugar syrup confectionery undertone. Almost molasses, almost kind of honey, it's like right in between, almost like brown sugar. So really enjoying this dark. I'm gonna smoke this down, get through the first third as we pick up in the second third. Just the diamond remains. As we're about halfway done with our tempura, perfect burn line almost. Very happy that we didn't get any construction issues. Shout out to Luxury for the one that they selected. As to be expected, with something that's only a four and a half by 60, it, it's not that it burns fast, but it burns hot. This is one where you really have to take your time with it because the four and a half length is going to get very, very hot underneath the 60 ring gauge. And with all of that, there is an increase in spice. There's also an increase in overall flavor and texture. One thing that I'm surprised about with the 60 ring gauge is the texture on the palate. It's not as mouth coating and the, the finish isn't as long as I anticipated it being. It's not that it's a very short finish or that it's not pleasurable or enjoyable at all. It's just that it's shorter than I imagined. Very wispy smoke, thin texture, decent medium finish. But overall flavors, there's still a lot of mineral notes to it. Still very great flavors. That leather, woody, chalkiness, it's all there. It's overall a good cigar. I don't think that this second third is me is blowing me away or something that I couldn't get with the standard Visa Jalapa line, but so far so good. I'm gonna enjoy this second third and I will be back once we hit this diamond band with the final third and some pairing recommendations. Just concluding our tempura by Cavalier, and so far so good. At the diamond now, burning right on through. Flavors off of this stick, man. If you're not a fan of the minerality, you're not a fan of the earthiness, I can understand where you might want to go with the white series over the Visa Jalapa, or even maybe the, the black series. I do think that this is a very bold, full body expression. Definitely going to be probably the fullest out of the three Temporas, so buyer beware. <laughs> if you're not expecting a full body smoke with a lot of power, a lot of earthiness, a lot of leather, a lot of minerality, a lot of salinity, I mean, this is going to go well with 
all of your great gins out there, especially if you're a martini fan or you like a good solid gin. Ricky gin cocktails, I think can do very, very well with the Biza Jalapa line. Also, all of you whiskey fans out there, this has got a lot of salinity to it, has that underlying sweetness in the second third. So this is gonna be a great pairing for your scotches, for your bourbons, along with the cognac fan. As you get into some of the dry, more solidic, more acidic notes on this cigar, it's gonna go great with all the cognacs, all the whiskeys, basically all your brown spirits from your well-aged tequilas to your rums. I think save the, uh, the Rieslings and the Champagnes and all those for the white series. And then the black series is gonna be right there in the middle. Shout out to Brian and Sebastian over at Cavalier, the rest of the team over there for always being creative and coming up with something new. I do think that these are five pack worthy. And I think that that's because being that there's three different expressions, you can buy two of two and then one of the third and kind of figure it out. But I will say that going up in strength from white to black to Visa Jalapa, I really like this. I think this is fun. It's just a different take on their core lines. Shout out to the whole entire team at Cavalier for putting these together. Thank you so much to Luxury for including this in your Palladium pack for this month. Thank you all so much for liking, commenting, subscribing, continuing to grow the community here at Master Your Ash. Check out the Infamous Smoke Show, link down below. The Patreon is where we do our giveaway at the end of every single month, so feel free to take a look at that. The Rumble and Spotify are the backups, should anything ever happen to us here on YouTube. And I look forward to catching you again for another Cavalier Geneva Tempora Cigar Review.